What's up, Pisces? Trust your intuition for guiding your eyes to this forecast for the last quarter moon in Virgo. So this is covering December 16th through the 19th, and last quarter moons come in between a full moon and a new moon, meaning we're releasing energy, we're waning down towards the new moon, and Virgo energy is very calm, cool, collected, organized, practical routine. So this is kind of like releasing and letting go of any energy that has us stuck in the same old routines, has us blocked in terms of organization. So this is the time to sift and sort, Pisces. So let's manifest some clear energy for your reading. Let us know what Pisces needs to see for the last quarter moon in Virgo. Thank you. Six of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Okay. Could be a loss or a surrender of some sort. The star, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> Give me one more for Pisces. One more for Pisces for the last quarter moon in Virgo. What's coming up? What's the forecast? The six of pentacles, Taurus energy. So we have two sixes and a star. Bottom of the deck energy, I'm hearing what you don't see coming is the nine of swords. Gemini energy and clarifying that is strength. Leo energy. All right, Pisces, let's dive into this. So the six of wands, this is like a surrender or a loss because upright, it's about a homecoming, winning after the battle. <clears throat> so in reverse, it's like a loss. But then we have the star, which is all about hope, faith, trusting. So it's like even after a loss, or maybe it's not like a permanent loss, you're still hoping for a good outcome in something. So I feel like something didn't go the way that you expected it to or wanted it to, but your faith is not lost yet. So then we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is all about equal give and take. It's all about an equal exchange, service, energy. So I feel like you're still putting in work even though something didn't quite turn out the way that you wanted it to because you know that you're still the star of the show. You, you still know that this life, you are the main character, Pisces. So I feel like whatever didn't turn out the way you expected, it, it doesn't have you down because you know about the law of attraction. Like attracts like, and when you're feeling good, you attract good. So bottom of the deck energy is the nine of swords, which is about feeling worried. But then you remember this energy. I love this strength card coming out. It's almost like IXXI, we're like flipping the energy. Yeah, you're re remembering that it's almost like I was stuck between remembering and realizing, ooh, it's not this death energy, though. It's almost like you're letting go of the bullshit. I feel like you're just, yeah, you're saying this distress, like, whatever, right? Like, I just don't care. Like, it's not that important to stress out about. I feel like whatever, I love this energy, Pisces. This is so Pisces, too. Like, totally not giving a fuck. It's like, even if you have a crazy, crazy bill due, you're not going to give a fuck. You're not going to let that you know destroy your mood or wear you down in any type of way more for pisces last quarter moon in virgo what's coming up for pisces take it 35 sacred fish spirit oh my gosh of course they wanted me to take this this is your pisces energy it's fish energy surrender to s simplicity if i could actually talk wow yeah, I almost said surrender to SZA. Maybe that's a message for you, Pisces. So this is your fish energy. 35, 3 plus 5 breaks down to an 8. 8 on its side is the infinity symbol. So the star is also 8. It has 8 sides in tarot. So it's number 17. So 1 plus 7 breaks down to an 8. So there's a lot about um, completion energy and surrendering and things going on and on. I feel like it's like you don't have to give up hope because... Something didn't go in the way that you wanted it to or expected it to. You know that there's way more time and space to allow for what you want to happen to happen in an even better way. Because spirit always has a better way of bringing us what we want than what we expect. Yeah, you're just making things easier for yourself. I feel like you're like, I, I what's the point of, you know, losing my shit over this? Give me more for Pisces. You're not one with the shits. So we have desert, which is about hot energy. It could be about like seduction energy in a way. 
Tell me more about the desert. <clears throat> Very attractive energy too. Verified blue. So I feel like there's a lot of traction around you and it makes sense too with the star. Maybe you are famous Pisces. Maybe you know you're gonna be famous one day. There's something here. <clears throat> they want me to show you this cliff, the jumping off point. So I feel like something's about to pop off. The more you just kind of relax and surrender to the universe, the more everything is going in your direction. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. That's really the energy, Pisces. Just keep swimming because everything is about to work out in your favor. If it didn't go the way that you wanted it to, it was for a very divine reason. But I, I feel like you might even be on Twitter verified, but I feel like this is like a very, like a very powerful energy. Fire expansion. I don't know what's going on, Pisces. There is a fire being lit up under your ass. I feel like losing inspired you to want to win more. Tree, root. This is about expansion, growth. Yeah. There's a lot of cards about expansion and rooting out and making connections. I feel like there's so much energy surrounding you, Pisces. There's a lot of beautiful energy surrounding you. They're telling me left hand through the charms. I feel like there's a lot of star power energy. Like you, you're really amazing at something. Aquarius energy. So I feel like the universe is funny because this is also Aquarius and this um, came out on the star. So this is like, which is Aquarius. So this is definitely the energy of technology I'm getting with this. Aquarius rules technology, the internet. I feel like there's something the universe wants you to post. Keep posting online, high vibrations online, because I think it's going to pay off Pisces. Give me more for Pisces. Maybe that's that energy too. Read it, rooting out, connecting out. Let me grab this dice really quick. So I literally see Pisces in the 12th house. Pluto energy, wow. Pluto and Pisces in the 12th house. So Pluto is death and rebirth, transformation. Yeah, in Pisces. There's a huge spiritual transformation going on, Pisces. In the 12th house, ruled by Pisces. Yeah, pay attention to your dreams at this time and just changes in general. There's a lot of swift changes happening for you, Pisces, and I feel like they're all really, really good and expansive. So yeah, th this is like the energy. I love this, Pisces. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much, and I'm sure I will talk to you again very soon.